Hi, it's James again, uh, one half of Monster Finger Games, coming here with you, uh, to you with another tutorial. Uh, this time it's uh, about um, how to do a fading trail effect. Now, this fading trail effect will also use alterable values as well in order to not create too many objects. So, uh, so yeah, let's go. Okay, so firstly, uh, what I'm going to do is um, while the uh, is every one one hundredth of a second, I am going to have uh, our smoke created at the back of the bullet. Uh, this is going to be our trail. Um, so let me uh, let me just start with that first. So, let me create the smoke. Oh, sorry. We shoot the smoke. That's what I meant to do. Uh, so, launch an object. Um, and this is our smoke here. And we're going to launch it at zero. Okay. It doesn't matter really what you do in this regard because it's at zero, it doesn't make a difference really. Um, and then as you'll see, the smoke's going to go in. Um, well, actually, let me just uh, slow that down a little bit actually. So it's three one hundredths of a second. Um, and then you'll see that this smoke is created from the back of the bullet. Um, but as you'll see, it'll quickly go up to 1,000 objects uh, and obviously. And, and it'll also look pretty shocking because there's no fade. Okay. Ah, lovely. There we are. Okay, so not the desired effect that we wanted. Um, and as you can see, it's covering the whole screen. And, uh, yeah, not very good. Anyway, um, so let's get back to this. Uh, I'm going to put that back down to... Uh, to two one hundredths of a second actually because that, that was obviously not working right okay so first thing that we're going to do is every one one hundredth of a second oops there we are um, we're going to fade this like so onto here I don't know, plus 10. Okay. <clears throat> and that will then give this effect. It loads. Yeah, it looks much better. Yay. Okay. Now you'll also notice that uh, as, as much better as that does look, and believe me, if it wasn't on the screen recorder, it would look a whole lot better, but uh, it can't seem to cope my computer. There we are. When you hit 100, uh, 1,000, you can see that there's no smoke, and, uh, and obviously we don't want that. So, let's fix that. What we're going to do is, uh, let's look, uh, every 1 one hundredth of a second, which is this bit here, so it's setting the transparency, we're also going to add 1 to, the, to its alterable value A, which we'll later call its lifespan. Um, now, we set up another event where once the alterable value is, let's say, I don't know, uh, let's say 20, for example, um, or greater, oops, one of the screen recorders. Uh, there we are. Right. And then we will destroy. Uh, okay. So, what we need to do now is go into our uh, smoke object here. And we're going to change the name of the alterable value here to lifespan. It's always good to aim all alterable values. There we are. Okay, so this should hopefully give us a desired effect. So let's press play on our game. Nope. Sorry, let's do that again with the debugger on. There we are. 
There you go. And we can have lots and lots of them bouncing around. And as you can see at the top, they do right here on. There's only 82 objects being used. And uh, obviously you can do that with lots and lots of different things. Uh, what I'm going to show you now uh, is it in action on uh, on Mr. Monocle. Uh, sorry, Mr. Monocle's Travels, which is the latest uh, Monster Finger game, uh, hopefully coming to, to Steam very, very soon. Uh, and we can check this out on our latest level, which is... Uh, there we are. And let's have a show a little bit of this. Oh, sorry. Not the right level, that one. Once again, the screen recorder is slowing my computer down to a halt. Always good. There we are. Right. So, and obviously bear in mind that it does run perfectly. Um, but, uh, but unfortunately, the screen recorder is making it run shockingly. But you can see that in action there. Uh, just over here. Yeah. Woo. Uh, yeah. It's having a lot of problems. <laughs> but uh, but as you can see, that's the, the trail effect used um, in action on uh, on Mr. Monocle. So, and obviously it will be a whole lot faster uh, when it's not on a screen recorder. It does run at, uh, at a good uh, 60 frames per second. All right, fantastic. Well, uh, until next time, I will uh, I will see you later. But uh, please do like and subscribe any videos. It's always good to have new people watching our videos all the time, so feel free to share them as well. Uh, and obviously, if you've got any uh, tutorials that you have what you'd like to see, then uh, then please you know do let me know. Uh, I wanted to give a bit of a shout out as well to uh, to Sparkman um, as. You know, watch, watch your videos every day. That's absolutely brilliant. Uh, and also a shout out to uh, Almighty Zen Taco, which is one an awesome name, and uh, also you're extremely clever when it comes to fusion, and uh, and most likely more than I am. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I've really enjoyed watching your tutorials as well. All right, then. thanks very much. Bye bye.